Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Jennifer and thank you for watching Scrapbooks and Memories. Today is Wednesday and that is our Journaling Memories Day. So we are showing off the junk journal we created in the last one. I added uh, things to the cover, I decorated the cover, the spine, and then the back. And then I also did some inside. So on the cover here and for the back, I used a magazine cutout images, or these might have come from a book. Some cardstock and matted it on, added cardstock here. I'm um find some sentiments I want to put and put those on top of here. That's why those are there. Some ephemera pieces, frame, and then I backed it on cardstock so you could see it. And this is a bunch of dried roses. Really, really love that. So for the spine, I use this scrap piece of the rose paper here. It's a cardstock with some washi. And then for the back, another image that I just matted on some cardstock and added a couple, a couple of ephemera flowers there. And I just love these. These are so pretty. And they work perfectly for this junk journal. So let's do a quick flip through, flip through of the inside. This is the first page I did, and this is one of the little clusters I had shown in a, um, previous videos. can't remember exactly which one. So I just laid a bunch of different pages together. I uh, inked with some oxide in between here. This page is really pretty. I love the Graphic 45 collection I used for that. And I just mix and match papers for this one. I'm not going for any particular theme besides like flowers, fairies, cottage core, that kind of vibe for this one. So I'll be mixing and matching all types of papers. This is one of those little pockets I made in a previous um, episode that I showed you guys how to make and then glue together. Work perfectly for little photos like this that just tuck in. Little mementos you could tuck in really pretty page and I just did a minimal um, layering of paper on that page and here we have one of the pockets I made with some ephemera flowers and then the next page I used some um, stamped flowers a fussy cut out a little inchy I made so numbers stand for July 4th some ephemera flowers very pretty and see I'm not traditional at all I'm very eclectic so I went ahead and fussy cut them out I thought they looked really nice against that background and that's all I have so far I do have some things also to share that I created so first I did these journaling cards if you watch my um, what do they call them shorts you would see all these fun little journaling cards I make, little collages I do. Every time I make something small like this, I usually make a short for it. They don't really get seen that much, but I make them and I do them. So these are really cute. So this would be nice as like a little pocket. It's an ATC card, but it can also be a little pocket or just a little decorative element. I plan on writing on this page. This would be really cute to put here to add some decoration and these could go in you know pockets like this and you pull out journal on them and then also I made um, this cute little three by five journal out of a paper bag and I added some of the little things collection it has two little signatures and just put it down And I just looped some string around a few times. So I thought maybe that would look good inside like maybe a pocket or maybe even if you glue it down to a page because then you could open it like this. I don't know. I thought that'd be really cute. So whatever I plan on doing with it, it'll turn out fun. So that's what I've been working on lately. I did get a bunch of new supplies for my collage spreads. So Friday, um, join me for 
uh, collage with me and we'll be working on a spread together. It, it is a no talk video, so we'll just be having fun with some relaxing music, shredding up some papers, gluing down paper, and just being creative. So be sure to hit the subscription bell to join me for that. And join me, not this coming Wednesday, but the following Wednesday for another journaling memories episode. I hope you gained a little bit of inspiration. And so I see you next time. Bye.